In this video, I will demonstrate the changes that have been made to the Smart Sparrow platform and the Alcatab Companion websites since August 2019. These updates reflect the basic needs of teachers and learners. Additional updates are planned and will be released by the end of the spring 2020 semester. To begin, I'll log in to my teacher account. In August and September, the websites loaded very slowly. The first thing I would like to do is to show you the improved load times and speed for the site overall. If you would like to see what your students see, click the Learn Space URL. The initial page loads almost immediately. As you can see, the load times have been improved. We also are adding the glossaries and collections of video resources that appeared on the previous websites. Students can find them by clicking on the navigation panel and choosing the references icon. As you can see, we are still adding these resources, but thus far have added the dialogues, stories in dialect, and stories in FUSA videos. The glossaries will appear by January 2020. You can see that we students are now able to see the number of points they have scored for each lesson. We will be updating this to show the number of points they have earned next to the number of total points possible, providing context. Let's now turn to the features that have been updated for instructors. The main issue with the companion websites when they were launched is that they lacked the ability to score and grade activities. Most of the improvements we made have been to the grading and scoring side. The second thing I would like to show you is these updates. When you select your class, click Grades and Progress to reach the grading and scoring side of the platform. You can see your list of, of enrolled students here. Students are now listed in alphabetical order by last name. Previously, when you clicked Grades and Progress, the screen opened to the progress section, showing the percentages of completion. Based on feedback, Smart Sparrow updated this so that it shows the grade section first. What you see here in this screen is the total score that students have received for all of the activities they have completed and the grades they have been given by you for the full book. By default, each blank is given one point. For, an ex for example, if an activity has seven blanks, then the total possible points for that activity is seven. Coming soon, we will add some context to this by including the total number of points possible for the lesson and the activity. In a minute, you'll see where some of this has already been implemented. The link, Units 1 to 13, allows you to learn more about how students performed on individual activities. Clicking it leads you to the list of lessons. This grade link, appears if there are activities that students have completed that require you to assess and grade or score them. To reach these to grade and to find out more information about how students did on individual lessons and activities, click the Units 1 to 13 link. As you can see, the student list is now fixed on the left so that when you scroll, you can more easily align the student and activity. What you see in this view is the points each student has earned in each lesson. Again, we are adding the total points possible to provide context. 
You can also see the grade link to pinpoint where your assessment is needed. To dig deeper, click on the lesson you wish to know more about. In the lesson view, you can see each activity in a large table. In the lesson view, you can see, you can scroll to the right to see how each student performed on each individual activity throughout the lesson. Let's talk about what things mean in this screen right now. A number indicates the score earned. The dash means either that it is an activity that is not graded, for example, a listening or watching activity only, or that it has not been completed by the student. Coming soon, the dash will be replaced by more details. If a student has not yet tried an activity, it will say unattempted. If a student completed an activity that is not graded, it will say N slash A for not applicable. As I mentioned earlier, if you see this grade link, it means that teachers should grade an activity. Right now, it is only possible for teachers to see the answers for activities that they must grade. We are working with Smart Sparrow to enable teachers to see all answers. To grade an activity that needs your assessment, click on the grade link for the student and activity you wish to grade. A drop-down appears showing you all of the answer blanks for this activity. They are in consecutive order. You can also see which you have already graded and the grade you gave and which you have not yet graded. Click on grade again next to the blank you wish to grade. The page that loads shows the student work on the left and the grading features on the right and top of the screen. On the right you will see that it says whether the, or not the blank has been graded. In this case it says ungraded. Once you grade it, it will change to graded and show the time date stamp for when it was graded. The answer that you are grading will be highlighted in blue with a blue line. Depending on your browser, you may have to scroll to find it. Once you have determined the grade you wish to give your student for this, type it into the grade box and click Submit Grade. Here you can see the green pop-up showing that you have clicked the Submit Grade button and that Ungraded has changed to Submitted with a time date stamp. You now have two ways to proceed with your grading. You can either grade the same answer for all of your students or you can continue to grade all of the blanks in this activity for this student. To grade this same answer for all of your students, you will use the list of students here and select the next student. You can see here which students you've already entered a grade for for this activity and blank. To continue to grade all of the blanks in this activity for this student, click on the Tamreen number at the top and select the blank you wish to grade. Again, it shows you here which you have graded and which you have not. I have demonstrated most of the features that have been added to the al -Kitab Companion websites since August 2019. There are more features that will be coming, such as the ability to change the total possible points for an activity and the ability to drop add students. We will continue to update and make changes to improve the teacher and student experience. To find out more about these updates and those planned to be released in spring 2020, please visit elkitabtextbook.com and visit the, the page Updates to Companion Websites. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at gupress at georgetown.edu. That's G-U-P-R-E-S-S -S at georgetown.edu. Thank you.